Today I'm setting the Wayback Machine back to Topaz Simplify 4. This is another Topaz A Blast From The Past video. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today I'm going to look at an older piece of Topaz software, one of my favorites. It's called Topaz Simplify 4. Now everything I'm doing in Simplify 4 you can do in Topaz Studio 2 today, but I just wanted to show you this older piece of software. I just love its interface and the way everything is laid out and all the tools are right there ready for you to use. And if you have used this software in the past, I'd like to know what you have to say about it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this piece of software or if you still use this software, let me know below in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. Before we start, I do want to mention that Topaz Gigapixel AI is on sale right now for $79.99. That's $20 off. But if you click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my promo code David Kelly, you'll save an additional 15% off. And they also have their image quality bundle on sale right now for $159.99. That's a $99.98 savings. Plus, you can use my uh, promo code David Kelly on this as well and save 15% more off this sale price. So I just want to let you know. And when you use my promo code and my affiliate link, I make a small commission and it helps me keep these videos coming your way. So if you use my affiliate link and my promo code, thank you very much. Before I open up Topaz Simplify 4 and work on an image, let me just show you a, a few examples of what you can achieve with Simplify 4. Now, obviously this is a before and here is an after, after Simplify 4, but you can see that Simplify 4 uh, removes a lot of the details and things like that and gives you more of a painterly artistic quality image. So there's my first example. Here's my next example. It's a really cool shot of a bunch of buildings, but check the results out after Simplify 4. A nice graphic image. I love all the bold colors, the blue, the reds, the oranges, and the yellows. I really love the way this one came out, but this is the kind of different looks you can get with Simplify 4. And I have one last example, and that is this one here. A nice delicate flower. This is the before, and here is the after. A more artistic, graphic style flower image. But now it's time to experiment and have some fun. So let me go ahead and show you the image that I want to work on. I have this image here of some buildings. And what I want to do is add a graphic look to it, much like this image here, but not quite as intense, but a nice graphic look. And buildings like this really work well with that graphic style look. Now, I want to point this out about Topaz Simplify 4. It is not a standalone app. It has to be used as a plugin, and I'm using it as a plugin in Photoshop today. But everything I do inside of Topaz Simplify 4 today, you can do the same effects using Topaz Studio 2. It's just not going to have all the uh, filters in a convenient place for you like uh, Simplify 4 does. That's what I really love about the Simplify 4 interface. All the tools you need are like right there for you, which is really cool. And by the way, just in case Topaz are listening, leave some comments uh, about Topaz Studio 2. What changes would you like to see in Topaz Studio 2? Hey, I don't even know if Topaz will continue developing Topaz Studio 2, but I think if enough people let them know they want Topaz to do something with it, Maybe they'll listen. That is my hope. So please leave comments in the comment section below. Okay, enough of my rant. Okay, so I duplicated the background layer and called it Topaz Simplify 4. I'm going to come up to my filters and come to Topaz Labs and launch Simplify 4 and we will get started. And here we are in Topaz Simplify 4. Now your adjustments are over here on the right side. You have three groups. You have global adjustments, you have local adjustments and you have finishing touches. I don't, I'm not going to get real in depth into everything today, but I just want you to see how cool this interface is. Okay. And over on the left, we have our different collections and presets here. And if you hover over these different names of presets, you can see that affects result in the preset window. And then if you come up into this collection section, you see you have a whole bunch of different collections in here. Right now, I'm on the line and in collection. That's the one I'm going to be using. But here's what I really like. You see this icon right here. If you click this, 
you'll see a bunch of presets coming up on your screen and then you can scroll through these different presets and find one that might help you. And this really helps you to get your creative juices flowing, especially if you don't know which direction to take an image. And then you could come up here, see where it says select collection. You can click this and there's all the different collections that you can just jump to from here but we're going to be using this uh, collection of called Line and Ink for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through here and see what I come up with, see if I find one that I like. And I see a few that I really like. Let's keep going down. And you know what? Kind of like this one, and I like this one. There's a little more detail in this one. See right in here, it's a little bit light. I see more detail here. This is the one I think I'm gonna go with. If you like one, you just have to click on it and then you're brought back into the main interface with that preset applied and then you can just go ahead and start adjusting. Now, this is really nice. Right now, you notice we're in combined. If I click on edges, you'll see what my edges look like. Now I can come to edges here, open up edges and make some adjustments here. For instance, if my edge strength is too much, I can take this slider and start to drag it back and you see make that, you know, less pronounced maybe something like that. And then of course you can simplify the edge, reduce it and do all the different things. I'm just gonna close it for now. But then you could come back to the base image and that's what the image looks like without any edges on it. And so you can come here and maybe work on the simplify size and add a little more simplification to the image, maybe something like, like that. Say I want these windows to get you see how they're light, light here? You can see a little bit of color in that one. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit more to the right. Maybe a little bit more. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. But that's the base. But you can adjust the feature boost and all the different adjustments. And if you watch my videos where I'm working with Topaz Studio 2, you've seen me do all these things. I'm really happy with it. So I'm not going to play with any of these adjustments now. But I'm going to click on Combined. And now you'll see the edges combined with the actual base image isn't that nice it's really nice and then we could come to the adjust section here and in here we can adjust the brightness contrast we can do all those different adjustments here and i'm pretty happy with everything in here i may just maybe pull my brightness back a little bit just to darken it up just a little bit maybe right around there and i think i have a little too much saturation so i'm going to pull back on my saturation somewhat yeah like right around there i think that looks really good there's a saturation boost. You can pull up your dynamics by dragging this to the right. And I like that. You see how that just kind of pulls those dynamics out a little bit more, brings out some more little details. There's even a structure here if you need to pull out some extra structure. Think of like detail and things like that. I'll move it up so you can really see it there. But I'm going to pull it back to maybe right about there. I think that looks really good. I like the graphic quality I'm getting. There's a structure boost as well, but let me go ahead and shut this down. There's even a curves tool here if you need to adjust your curves and things. And then we have local adjustments here, like dodging and burning, but I don't do any of that inside of Simplify 4. I save that all for Photoshop. And then we have finishing touches where we have like vignettes in here. Let's turn our vignette on and let's just add a little bit extra vignette in here. Darken those edges a bit. And of course you have vignette size and transition and so on. And you also have like quad tone. You can color the different regions of like, like your luminosity tones, like your darks, your midtones, your shadows and your highlights and things like that. You can add colors to those different tones. And you have all these same features inside of Topaz Studio too, by the way. And transparency is nothing more than an opacity slider. If you want to bring some of the original image back in, you can pull this to the right. You see that? and add some of the original image back in if you want. But I save that all for Photoshop because I feel I have more control there in Photoshop, so I don't touch that here. And then once you're happy with your adjustments, you can come down here and click OK. The apply, what the apply is for, you can click apply and then start adding new adjustments on top of the adjustments you've already done. 
but I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And now all of the effects will get baked into the image and it'll send me back into Photoshop. And here we are back in Photoshop, and I do want to say this, Topaz Simplify 4, sometimes it can take a long time to save out an image because it's old technology. This took roughly almost a minute to save out. I stopped the video just so you wouldn't have to wait for it and hear me rambling on, okay? But here we are back in Photoshop. Here's the before, and here is the after. Now remember, we have this opacity slider so that we could take this, pull this back a little bit, and let some of the original image show through if we wanted to. And I kind of like that right at 76. Here's the before, and here's the after. But that is Topaz Simplify 4. Well, there you go, everyone. I went ahead and added a digital frame to it using Topaz Studio 2 because I thought this image deserves to be framed. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, this blast from the past, seeing what uh, Topaz Simplify 4 was all about. I really enjoy the interface, and I still use it because it's very conducive to helping you to create some really cool art pieces. If you enjoyed my tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.